Hey guys, my name is Rachel. Welcome to Rachel Bolin Fitness. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel so you get updates on all of my latest videos. Today we have a practice for strength in yoga. How amazing. I'm super excited for this practice with you guys. You will need your mat. And if you have one block, bring that along with you. If you don't have a block, you can use a book or even a water bottle. Let's go ahead and get started. So once you find your seat, go ahead and close your eyes. Start to bring your attention to your breath. Reeling it in for this practice. We have a short time together today. Options to keep your eyes closed or go ahead and open them, but we're gonna place the left fingertips on the ground, reach that right arm up and overhead for a side stretch. And we're gonna fold forward, coming into a circle, and fingertips of the right hand meet the ground. Left fingertips reach over to the right. We'll do that one more time. So forward fold, right fingertips up. And we'll come back to the other side. Beautiful, reach both arms up and overhead and bring them down to your heart center. Set an intention for your practice. If you don't have an intention, that's okay. You know why you're here. This is yoga for strength. Use that to help create your intention to answer that question, why are you here? We're gonna make our way to a tabletop position. Hmm. From our tabletop position, we're gonna wag our tail. So wag your tail side to side. So when you look over to the left, you're looking at the left hip or the left toes and come back to center. One more time each side. Back center. And we'll find ourselves in our neutral spine. On your inhale, we're gonna drop our belly gaze, goes up towards the ceiling. Exhale, round the spine, angry cat. Again, drop that belly, gaze goes up. One final time, round the spine, angry cat. And we'll find ourselves in a neutral spine. Tuck those toes, hover the knees for five, four, three, two, one. Send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal it out here. We are about to get moving. Moving and grooving. All right, inhale, get high on those heels and the knees and step forward into a forward fold. Wiggle the hips side to side. You can even grab onto your opposite elbows for rag doll. And release your bind if you have it. Take a big bend of those knees and roll on up to standing. We're gonna get moving with our sun salutation A. Inhale, reach those arms up and overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, let's lift up halfway. And exhale, fold. Plant those hands, step back, high plank. We're gonna hold it here. Every time that we make our way through our sun salutations today, they're gonna be different. So make sure you're listening. Here, those shoulders are stacked right on top of the wrist. If your wrists do not feel very good, always come down onto the forearms. You can hold a forearm plank here or keep it up on those hands. Got 10 more seconds here. We're coming into a chaturanga push-up. You can drop your knees if you need to. In three, two, one, chaturanga push-up. We'll sweep on through, back bend, and we'll be back in our downward facing dog, nice. Inhale, and on the exhale, feet meet the hands, top of the mat. Inhale, let's lift up halfway, and fold. And inhale to rise on up. 
Reach those arms up and overhead. Palms touch, bring them down to your heart center. Again we go. Inhale, arms come up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, let's lift up halfway. And exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step or jump back. High to low, push up. Sweep on into your back bend. We'll meet in our downward dog. Inhale. And on the exhale, we're going to shift forward into our high plank. Every time you exhale, you move. So inhale. Exhale, send it back, downward dog. Inhale. Exhale, shift forward, plank. And inhale. Exhale, send it back, downward dog. Let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale, shift it forward into plank. Let's hold the plank here. Chaturanga push up. Lower down, option to drop the knees. We'll meet back in our downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale, feet meet the hands, top of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway, fold. Inhale to rise on up. Reach the arms up and overhead, and back down to your heart center. We have one more time through our sun salutation A. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold, plant those hands, step or jump back, high to low push up. Sweep on through. We'll be back in our downward dog. Inhale, exhale, shift forward into high plank. Option to drop the knees here. We have three chaturanga push-ups. So elbows raise the rib cage. Got two more. Two. Last one, and we'll sweep on through. We'll be back in downward dog. That was tricky. I just tricked you so hard. <laughs> Inhale, exhale, step forward. Inhale, halfway lift up. Fold, inhale to rise, arms reach up, palms touch, bring them down to your heart center. Take a moment here. You can place one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly, close your eyes. Reconnect with the breath if it got away from you. Keep the mind set on the intention for your practice. Why am I here? <laughs> You can do this. Go ahead and open up those eyes if they're closed. Inhale, let's reach those arms up. And on the exhale, hips come down. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift up. And exhale, fold. Plant those hands. Step or jump back. High to low. Push up. Sweep on through. We'll be back in downward dog. Inhale, let's lift up that right leg, knee to nose, three times. So you stack those shoulders on top of the wrists. That's one. Here's two. Final time, three. We plant that foot up in between the hands, come up, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands come back down to the mat. Step that right foot back, three-legged dog, and then place it on the ground. Left leg lifts up, knee to nose, three times. Here's one. Here's two. Last time, third time. Plant the foot up in between the hands. Crescent lunge, reach the arms up and overhead. Inhale. Exhale, hands come back down to the ground. Three-legged dog. Plant that foot down, inhale. Exhale, shift forward into your high plank, lower down chaturanga. Those are always optional, by the way. Me back in downward dog, inhale. Exhale, feet meet the hands, top of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Fold. Inhale, chair, one breath in. Exhale, reach up, hands come down to your heart. Beautiful work, again, inhale up. Exhale, hips come down, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift up. Exhale, full plant those hands, step or jump back. If you jump, make sure you bend those elbows as you land. We'll be back in downward dog. Inhale, lift up the right leg. We're gonna bring that same knee to our same tricep. Here's one. Here's two. Last time. Here's 
three, beautiful. Extend that right leg behind you, plant it on the ground. Left leg lifts up, knee to tricep for three. Here's two. And one. Leg extends behind you, inhale. Exhale, shift forward, high plank, lower down, chaturanga. Sweep on through, knee back and down, we talk. Inhale. Exhale, step the feet forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Fold. Inhale to rise on up, arms reach up and overhead. Palms touch, bring them down to your heart. We have one more time through our sun B. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant those hands, step or jump back, high to low push up. Meet in downward dog. Lift up that right leg. Knee to nose one time, plant the foot up in between the hands, reach the arms up and overhead. We have options here. Arms can stay up and overhead, or you can cactus the arms. We're going to bend this back knee and hover it over the ground, and then straighten. So this front knee is staying bent almost this entire time. It might move a little bit, and that's fine, but the focus is this back leg. Whew. Four more. I'm gonna bring my hands onto my hips. Got two more. Two. Last one. Beautiful, inhale, those arms come up. And exhale, the hands come down to the mat, step that right foot back, vinyasa, high to low, push up. Knee back and downward dog. Left leg lifts up, knee to nose one time, plant the foot in between the hands, come on up, crescent lunge. Find where your arms would like to go. We're gonna tap that back knee. My back knee is not getting anywhere near the floor, that's totally okay. Keeping that chest lifted. Trying to keep this front leg as stable as possible. It's gonna bend a little bit. We've got three more. We're really focusing on this back leg. Last one. Nice, inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step that left foot back, high to low push up. Sweep on through. Knee and downward dog. Nice, work, inhale. Exhale, feet meet the hands, top of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Fold. Inhale, chair, hips come down, arms reach up, one breath in. And exhale to rise on up, hands come down to your heart. Take a quick sip of water. <clears throat> this is where you're gonna need your block, so place that block at the top of your mat if it's not already there. Yoga for strength, guys. I didn't mess around. <laughs> okay, right foot's gonna stay forward, left leg, step it back into our crescent lunge, okay? We were just here, so we're pretty familiar with it. Make sure that this right hip is not poking out to the side, so hug that right hip in towards the midline of the body. Let's reach those arms up and overhead. We're going to launch forward, okay? So we're coming into a standing Split. So I have this one block and placing both of my hands on it. We're not opening up the hips to the side of the room. We're keeping them square to the floor. We're going to take a Jiva squat. So we're going to bend both of our knees and we're going to squat down and stand. Squat and stand. We're only doing five of these puppies. Four, three, so I lied, we are doing six of them because I started counting wrong. Last one. <laughs> okay, I'll stay here. If you're feeling feisty and you wanted to, come on up into your airplane arms or maybe even back by your hips or warrior three, go for it. Always an option to keep those hands on your block. You're strengthening that standing leg. You feel that, don't you? If you're like, I can't do both arms, maybe I can try one. Try lifting one arm up. Woo. Maybe that arm reaches back. Maybe that arm reaches forward, okay? Find where you can hold this pose. My balance is a little off today. See where your balance is, try it out. Meet me back in our standing split with the left leg lifted. 
Right hand is gonna stay on that block. We're gonna open up into our half moon. So now we're stacking those hips one on top of each other. And that left arm is gonna reach up towards the ceiling. Warrior three into half moon. One more breath here. And we're gonna gently land back in our warrior two. Ta-da! Inhale, straighten that front leg, reach the arms up. Exhale, come back down. Again, up, back down. Let's do one more, inhale up. And exhale, come back down. All right, we're gonna turn both of our feet in, so our toes are turning out, and we're gonna come down into our goddess squat, okay? So, I like to shake a little bit side to side here, sway, Woo, I feel this. Feels good though, huh? Pretend like your back is up against a wall, so we're not sticking the booty out super far. Hold it here. We're just gonna hold this for 10 more seconds. This is it. For five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, stand on up. Heel to those feet together. Once you make it to the top, let's step up to the top of our mat. And then we're going to step our right foot back, coming into our crescent lunge. So make sure that block is at the top of your mat again. All right, we gotta do all this on the other side. <laughs> all right, so we're going to come forward into our standing splits. So that right leg is lifted behind you. Jiva squat five-ish times, okay? So bend both of the legs, squat down, and then stand up. Squat down. Stand up. Oh, my Lanta. All right, let's do two more here. Two. Then we're gonna hold this, last one. Stay here. See where you can find these arm variations. Maybe you come out to the side in a full airplane. Maybe those arms reach back towards your hips. Maybe they reach forward into your warrior three. Maybe it's one arm at a time. Keep those hips square to the floor. Don't open them up to the side. Try it out. Try it on for size. See where you are today. And then when you are ready, keep that left hand planted on your block. Stack those hips coming into our half moon. Now you really have to pretend like you are up against a wall. Like your back is creating its own wall here. And then slowly come back into our warrior two. Nice. <laughs> Inhale, let's straighten that front leg, reach up. And back down. Come on. And down. Some days your balance is just like not with you. <laughs> One more, reach up. And then come back down. Okay, bring those hands onto the hips, straighten that front leg, and let's walk those feet together. All right, shake it out. Nice, all right, let's turn those toes out. Your feet should be a little bit wider than hip distance. We're gonna come into a malasana squat. So we're starting standing here. You can either just come down, bring your hands on tops of your thighs, or you can bring those hips really low so your triceps can get into your inner thighs. You have this block here. If you so choose, you can sit down on your block. But this is what I really want in this malasana squat. So there's this point where you were in your malasana squat and you're like, oh yeah, I'm just chilling down here. This feels really good. I want you to get a little bit uncomfortable down here. You might think this is already an uncomfortable pose, <laughs> then you're already there. But I'm guilty of this. I can just hang out down here. I really want you to strengthen. So get to your lowest point and then lift up about an inch or two. Do you feel the difference? You can release it, come back down and then lift up about an inch or two. It's pretty different. It's pretty different, isn't it? Hold it here for 10 more seconds. Oh. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, we're going to slowly stand those feet up, heel toe the feet together. If you are not at the top of your mat, get yourself there, lower down onto your bum core strength, okay? We're gonna come into our boat. 
So lift those feet off of the ground. They don't need to be super high. You can get them really high if you would like. You can hold on to your hamstrings if you need to, or you can bring those arms by your side. We're gonna lower down and then lift back up. Lower down, lift back up. If your feet are on the ground, you just do it with your upper body, okay? Got those feet are lifted. We're getting all the way down and then coming up. We're doing 10 total, so we're halfway there. We have five more. Four, and then after this, we have one of the funnest things to do in a yoga strength class ever, I promise. Two more. <laughs> Two. Last one here. Beautiful. Draw those knees in towards your chest. We're going to yogi roll. You can hold on to the tops of your shins or you can hold on to your hamstrings, whatever is the most comfortable for you. This can either be super fun, <laughs> very challenging, or an intense ab workout. If you'd like it to be an intense ab workout, you can try to hold at the top, straighten those legs, straighten the arms forward, straighten the legs back. Woo! Don't fall, don't fall though. Let's do one more. See if you can hover at the top and then plant those feet down. Make your way down onto your mat. Nice, extend the arms and legs long. You definitely feel that, don't you? <laughs> that felt good, that definitely felt good. All right, let's bend those knees and bring the heels towards the bum. All right, make sure those feet are about hip distance apart. I want you to energetically squeeze those inner thighs together. We're gonna lift up the hips here. We're just gonna hold. So you're squeezing the glutes. You're also thinking about those core muscles being pulled up to the ceiling. So I like to think of like a nice little cocoon wrapped around my torso whenever I Whenever I do a bridge, it feels super good. All right, let's pulse it up. We pulse, pulse, pulse. This is yoga for strength after all, right? We're doing mini pulses here. Woo! For five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Oh my, windshield wiper the legs side to side. That was, that was cruel. <laughs> that was cruel. Uh, all right, let's come back to center. Straighten that right leg, and then we're gonna cross the right ankle on top of the left thigh. You can either keep that left foot on the floor, or you can hug that knee in towards your chest and interlace your fingers either behind the hamstring or on top of the shin. Oh, man. Man alive. That's good though, right? What was your intention for your practice? Was it fulfilled? Let's switch sides. Right foot comes down, cross that left ankle on top of the right thigh. And you'll notice that your sides are a bit different, especially after strengthening them. So why it's important, you know, if you're doing any type of workout, you need to stretch afterwards, especially if you're a strength workout or running or cardio, I can get on my soapbox about why stretching is important, but you are at the end of a yoga strength video, so I'm sure you're already well aware of the benefits. Prevents you from being sore, prevents injury. It just keeps those muscles nice and long and lean. All right, release, hug both of your knees in towards your chest. And we'll take a gentle twist. So legs come over to the left and arms extend out to the right. And we'll come back up center. We'll switch sides. So knees come over to the right, arm out to the left. If you would like a little extra action here, you can always head over to my channel to find some more uh, shorter workouts. You know, there's five minute abs, 10 minute abs. 
if you want a little extra oomph, right? All right, let's come back to center. Give yourself a squeeze and open up those knees wide for happy baby. You can grab onto the insides or the outsides of the feet and you can rock side to side. If movement does not feel good here, that's okay. Just hang out. You're just in dead bug. It's all good. You can straighten one leg and then the other. And draw those knees in towards the chest. Let's extend the legs long. We have one minute here together in our Shavasana. One minute where you can kind of escape anything that is happening off of your mat. Noticing the sensations in your body without commenting on them, without fixing your shirt, without fixing your hair, just spending these moments in stillness, yet noticing the sensations in the body after a challenging workout, a challenging flow, something that you accomplished, that your glorious body accomplished for you. Reach those arms up and overhead and draw your knees in towards your chest. Seriously, give yourself a big hug. I mean it. Give yourself a big, big squeeze. You can even say or think the words thank you to your body for allowing you to move in ways that maybe you're not used to moving in or in ways that challenge you or in ways that you love. And then yogi roll your way up to a comfortable seat. We'll take a side bend. We're going to end our practice the way that we started. So left fingertips on the ground, reach the right arm up and overhead. And then fold forward. Move all the way over to the other side. And back forward. Nice work. One more time. And make your way up nice and tall. Let's inhale, reach those arms up and overhead. Bring those palms to touch. Bring them down to your heart center. Close your eyes. Remember that intention. Notice if it's something that slipped your mind or you didn't fulfill. Or maybe you conquered it. No negative commenting on it. Just awareness. Let's inhale, let's reach those arms up and overhead. Palms touch, bring them down to your heart center. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Go out there, be fierce and playful. I'll see you again soon. Namaste.